come with me to prep for vacation so this is two days before i'm getting a wax and removing hair with my epilator which i love to use and this ingrown hair oil my vacation prep routine is essentially my reset routine so it involves a lot of cleaning so that when i come back from vacation my place is clean conveniently the day before i left was the last day of may i made sure to carve some time for my hot girl walk because this is my favorite part of the day i know my videos are kind of out of order but a lot is going to change I probably won't do videos anymore um, and switch to podcasting, so we'll see. But anyways, I forgot to film my pedicure. I got my eyebrows done. That's very key for vacation prep. I am still cleaning some more, recycling, cleaning the patio, using my Swiffer duster. Okay, back on the topic of doing podcasts. So I realize filming takes so much time and energy and I just don't have enough space for that on my phone because I do use my phone to film and edit. And I think podcasts are just more suited for my lifestyle. Okay, we're gonna be switching back and forth now. But anyways, I am at the laundromat and while I'm waiting, I'm reading this book that I got sent to me. It was a really popular book. I saw it all over my feed and now I have a chance to read it. And as you know, I'm not a big fiction girly, so I'm not too far into this book. But I'm just making a snack and boiling eggs for a packed lunch tomorrow. So I love YouTube and I love watching YouTube videos, but I think I'm trying too hard to make content when I can just be a viewer and appreciate it. But I do feel like I have a voice and a message to share by making content and I think podcasts are the way to do it for my lifestyle, like I said. It's a lot less energy. I can record it anytime. I don't have to get ready or anything like that. Things don't have to look aesthetically pleasing. So I definitely am exploring that route. So for dinner, we're gonna have these red hot dogs, Filipino hot dogs, but I don't even think the brand is Filipino, but there's cheese in it. So it looks a little burnt, but that's just the cheese. I'm so excited to eat this. I ate it for the first time last week in a really long time. So I think the last time I ate these red hot dogs since last week were maybe like three years ago or four years ago, but these are so good. And then I have some rice to go with it. And since I have leftover kimchi and cucumber, I'm gonna eat that. And I was also making hard boiled eggs for a sandwich that I'm gonna make tomorrow to pack for the plane. And then I think I'm gonna eat this before I leave tomorrow morning. I'm leaving at like 4 a.m., 4.15. So uh, let's see, I'll force myself to eat that just to have some fuel in me. This is the final product. I made some egg whites because I have a ton of eggs left. So that's why I'm also making that egg sandwich. So I decided to make some egg whites. I had egg, scrambled egg toast earlier with spinach. And I just decided to eat the whites this time because too much of the yolk is bad, supposedly, so I am eating this for dinner. Now it's time to make that egg sandwich, so I've already separated the yellow and the white, and look at this super cute Kewpie mayo that my sister got me from Japan. I'll probably use the whole thing, and I'm gonna mix that with that. Actually, I'll probably just use a little bit because it's not that much. And then the recipe that I found was on TikTok, so you just mix the yellow parts with kewpie mayo, um, white pepper, salt, and Dijon mustard, but I only have the mayo and salt, so I'll add black pepper instead. And then I cut this up even more and then mix it all together and then put it on some bread. Again, going back to the same topic, I definitely feel like podcasts can be easily recorded and kind of done on the go. And I listen to the podcast Date Yourself Instead, which I love and I highly recommend it. But basically, the host, Alyssa, she was talking about how she uses podcasts as like a voice memo diary and it really helps her. And at the same time, it's helping so many other people who are listening. So it really inspired me because I have, you know, a lot to share, I feel like. And since I live alone, it definitely helps to kind of talk through 
podcasts and having like this audience but not necessarily an audience it's more so like a community and i feel like all the podcasts that i listen to they always talk about how they love the podcast community and it's their favorite I have some ideas for some podcast content, a lot of which talk about like relationship advice and books and recommending different types of books for different areas of your life and different issues that you want to overcome or just to learn more things about a certain topic. So it's definitely going to mimic what I do here on YouTube anyways, because I talk about lifestyle things like cleaning and also about books clearly and on top of that i also hope to make more fashion content because i just love fashion and dressing up by the way i've been obsessed with this ashwagandha tea from yogi sun is about to set but i still have a lot to clean but let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful my books look so now I'm cleaning the bathroom. This takes up a lot of my time. I don't like this part of cleaning, but when I'm done, I feel very accomplished. I'm also gonna be cleaning my kitchen and I am sanitizing my kitchen sink. I do love cleaning though. I love cleaning and organizing and I also love living alone because that determines my ability to clean the way that I want, the way that I prefer and this is how i clean the sink specifically so i make sure to break down any food with the boiling water and then i use baking soda and vinegar for a cleaning chemical reaction in the sink in the drains and i do that everywhere else so in the bathtub and the bathroom sink so here's me scrubbing Anywho, I had made a bunch of video ideas for YouTube, but I think I'm just going to transfer that over to podcasts. A lot of them are book related and I also want to kind of redo my YouTube videos and turn them into podcasts as well. So I'm excited for all of that, but I also have a very busy semester. This semester, I'm going to be defending my thesis. I am working on an article, working on a remote job. I have a class. I have a class to teach by myself. So this summer is all about prepping for that to make my fall semester a lot less hectic. So the summer is also going to be busy. I am also doing a research job and catching up with my family and friends, traveling, and I'm just really excited for all that's to come. Now we can finally pack my underwear. So I packed my comb, my epilator, and my gua sha. I put it in this little container. And those were, I think, like some of the last minute things that I needed to pack. So we're going to stuff this underwear bag in here. I usually pack super early and I typically do it two weeks before I actually leave. But then I have all the daily products that I use and things that I still need to wash. And then I add that in the day before. I'm also a carry-on girly. I don't like doing check-ins. So I'm packing for like a month in my carry-on and this backpack i'm so tired i want to go to sleep but i totally forgot that i had dishes in the dishwasher i need to take them out dry them put them in the cupboards and then we can go to sleep <laughs> This is my OOTD for the airport. I'm wearing open-toed shoes. Yes, I know because I'm not bringing any closed-toed shoes for vacation because they're usually heavier. And then I have these Gap pants from the flea market. I have a like, ribbed crop top underneath. One of those like tight ones that kind of fit like a bra. And then I have this thrifted Disney World sweater with Mickey on the side and a knit cardigan, I have some everyday gold jewelry, and that's it for the airport. Just pretty comfy, casual. I just realized I totally forgot to tweeze. I wanted to tweeze last night. There were so many things I wanted to do last night, but I didn't get to do. I wanted to code some articles for my research job, but I didn't get to do that. Anyways, I'm so tired. My friend is almost here to drop me off at the airport, but other than that, this 
concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.